that's what's being disputed by the government defendants. That when we file these lawsuits, when we when we file this this current lawsuit, the the line of defense that they use is is that they say whatever's happening to you, you can't make a connection between that and the action of the government. Just like when you are attacked by an invisible directed energy. I can't tell you where it's coming from. I can't tell you if it's coming from a government satellite or for a corporate or a criminal satellite. I cannot make that connection. And that's exactly the point that the government defendants make. Go ahead. I, I, and I understand that. I mean, it's it's the same problem that exists in many legal issues and that was discussed uh, throughout the COVID situation is what is what the, the issue of causality, okay? of establishing a direct uh, dem dem demonstrable link between A and B. So here you have targeted individuals who are undergoing certain kinds of experiences. That's point A. And point B is you have a government saying, well, we have no way of knowing what is causing that. Now, here is the issue. The issue is, is that they are under a fiduciary responsibility under Article 4, Section 4 to investigate, and they won't. They certainly won't. The jurisdiction over what's happening to target individuals because it is happening domestically is without a doubt the uh, the Federal Bureau of Investigation. And they have a standard le letter that they send out to every targeted individual that has ever complained that we're sorry about what's happened to you, but there's no federal law has been broken because you are complaining about something that does not exist. Basically, the government does not recognize the existence of this kind of attacks, even though they have the Havana Act and they recognize it, that it can happen to diplomats and CIA agents overseas as a part of hostile activity, but never to a civilian uh, domestically. Yeah, Is not the Havana Act a, uh, a, 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 a proof of concept? If they're willing to acknowledge that Havana Act, uh, through the Havana Act, that people who are ambassadors and who work in embassies and so on can be affected by this, then the reality of targeted of targeted EMF uh, frequencies has been proven. They acknowledge that in the act. That is they your... acknowledge that in the act, that all you're saying is it needs to be investigated domestically. And they have an obligation under the Constitution to prevent people from being invaded, which people are in the targeted uh, individual community are saying they're being invaded from outside. That's the argument that has never has not worked uh, in any of our legal proceedings yet. Uh, we... and, and I I understand that, yeah. uh, and and I know that it it is frustrating. But one of the reasons why I answered the long way around in this last question is precisely because of that. Those people will never acknowledge what is going on because they are the source of it. 